Hello, my name is Catherine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mimi Plans and Knits. Um, sorry, we have a shadow. I'm recording this about four o'clock in the afternoon and um, it's dark. It looks like it should be bedtime. Just weather lately. We haven't had much snow, but we've had the strangest, really warm one day, really cold the next, freezing in the morning, hot in the afternoon. Um, the kit I'll be using today is the Gilded Press. Um, I'll try to link it below. And I'm planning to use this as my budget planner this year, the Hobonichi Weeks, with this beautiful green sparkly cover. And I will be keeping it in my Moterm Veg Tanned Zippered Wallet cover. Um, I don't have it right now. It's downstairs in my purse, but it is this color. This is the planner cover that I keep my, um, my Sterling Ink Weeks in, and um, it, they match. <laughs> I'm kind of weird. Uh, this is for my Weeks, and the zippered one, same matching color, will be for my budget planner. So that's what we're going to try this year. Um, so let's get started with these date numbers here. Um, I hope everyone is well. I hope everyone had a good, safe New Year's Eve. I hope that 2024 is going to be great for everyone. We're, we're so hoping for a good year this year. So it starts on a Monday. It's got to be a good year. This little kit just, I thought, oh, it's got some shine and it's New Year's and why not? So um, in my budgeting planner, I don't share any numbers. I just set it up on here so that I get it ready for my purse and I will write down um, any bills that are due on whatever day, any spending that I do and then I do keep track over here. This is sort of like an old fashioned check register for me that I use. So um, that's kind of how I do it. I write down um, any amount that we use on our visa or any credit card. Um, we have two different credit cards. So I keep track of what is spent on what because I have some bills that automatically come out on a credit card so that we can collect the points. And um, so I just keep track so that I know how much we have to pay on that. So um, I don't need these laundry day stickers or anything like that. Maybe I can use this cute little weekend sticker. And I will put it way over here. Now, let me see. I do have a bill, I know, that automatically comes out on Monday. And I will have one that comes out on, it's supposed to be the 6th, so I'm assuming it will come on the 5th. And I think it's the 4th. Let's put one here on the 4th pretty sure that's the date it's due. There we go. So, um, how is everyone getting along on this season? Here, everybody is great. We had a fabulous evening out for New Year's Eve. Um, it's great when friends get together. We don't do it every every week. Some of us only see each other once a year, so that's that's really good. We enjoy that. Um, I do have, I think, in my budgeting folder. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reaching over here. You can't see. Um, I wonder if I have any gold color budgeting. I may in my um, in my reusable book. 
Let me see. Do I have... I have these. Uh, I do have a payday. That goes kind of with that color. And a no spend. I think it's fun to keep track of my no spend days. And if you've seen before, I don't classify um, I don't classify anything that you have to spend on the house as spending. When I say no spend days, that means I didn't buy any clothes or stickers or something like that. But things that you have to have to run your house, groceries, gas in your car, things like that. To me, those are not... Let's see, let's see. Those are not spend days because you need them to live. You have to get to work. Uh, you have to buy groceries. You have to pay your mortgage bill. I don't classify those as spending. Um, going out to eat, things like that. Those are spend days for me. I'm going to use this little piggy bank at the end of the week. Whatever is left for us, I put into savings. Hopefully there's some left at the end. Okay, so I don't really have any budget stickers, but that's okay. I know what this is for. None of these, none of these. That maybe says payday. I could use that, I guess. That will be on Friday. Let's put it over here. Um, my husband, I pay him once a month on the first. So that will be his payday on Friday. And I um, don't think I need any more on this sheet. So I will have uh, my no spend stickers and which way do these little piggies go? These little piggies are from Olivia Planner Factory. They're really cute. Um, I find they're not a bad size. So I will put this way down here and see if we have any money to save. And I am going to keep these no spends with me. Um, this will be a day off. This is a holiday for us. So, and then here, what I do is um, I will have a balance forward. And I just put it there and then um, as things come out, I just kind of keep track of them here. So. This is kind of what my week will look like and I'll put this in my purse. I will write down what bills automatically are coming out and then I will keep my run and balance and when I get towards the end of the week, I'll start over here again. So this is how I'll be doing it this year. Um, I may do uh, the setup of the month and that way, I think on here, I might just put down the days that I'm working. Um, and then I do on here, I'll probably put the days that I work and um, the bills that are due on the days. And I'll just tick them off as they come. Um, I'm not going to really bother to do a setup with me for the month, unless that's something you want to see. Uh, if it is, let me know in the comments down below and I can certainly do that on here. Um, but I, I wouldn't put any numbers. It's just basically whatever bills that are coming on that day. When I do it for myself, I just put what it is and how much it is and I tick it off as, w as they get paid. So that's basically how I do it. So my... Um, my week turned out like this, the setup, and it's just not a big setup because I need more of the numbers and being able to use the squares and writing things in and stuff like that. So hopefully this keeps me on track this year. I'm kind of looking forward 
to getting organized for 2024 in this. The last year for 2023, my budget was kind of um, a little bit in different books and things like that. So this year I'd like to keep it all in one book and hopefully we can do it like that. So if you liked, uh, hit like and subscribe maybe, hit the notification button, um, leave me a comment down below. Um, yeah, until next time, I will talk to you again. Bye-bye.